Today we're going to use the proper techniques of boiling a bear skull to minimize damage to the skull and the teeth. We're going to use a boiling pot we have. We're going to use about 10 ounces of super washing soda, Arm & Hammer washing soda in the water. That'll help to gel the meat on the bear. fire going here proper we want it to just lightly boil when it boils to start boiling your skull we're only going to put the back part of the head where the most fleshy part of the skull is in the water at this time till we get the jaw part try to get it to set we don't want that bottom jaw to boil a part of the teeth to get boiled at this time this was a very old bear he's got one canine busted off wore off but the Arm & Hammer washing soda will help. We're gonna boil this skull. It'll probably boil an hour. Once the water starts boiling, we'll boil an hour the first time before we try to remove it from the water and remove the bottom jaw and as much meat as we can at that time. But as I said, we're only gonna boil the back part at this time so that we preserve as much of the skull as we can. This skull has been in the Boiling pot for approximately a little over an hour since it started boiling. You can see how the meat let go of the top of the skull and around the whole back where it was in the water. At this time we should be able to easily remove the bottom jaw and we'll run some cold water over it. It's pretty warm to touch. I like to do this in my sink where I've got access to cold and hot water. Take a knife to start trimming that meat away. Cut down along that bottom jaw, inside and outside the jaw. Start to separate that jaw and get it pulled off once that bottom jaw is removed this whole job gets easier just keep trimming in the inside that jaw and the outside and it'll eventually break loose one of the first things we want to do is get rid of that bottom jaw. Sometimes you need to take a towel and put it over the teeth so you can get a hold of it and pull. take a little more time. I just like to get rid of that jaw as soon as possible. All the meat I can get off. The faster you get the meat off, the easier it is to boil without damaging the damaging the skull or the teeth. Time on it. 
hammer comes off easy. Big chunks this time around. We we'll just remove them so that they're out of the way. That's what the bottom jaw look like going back in. I try to always keep my meat cleaned up, cleaned up the sink so it doesn't try to go down the drain. Now I've got a pair of forceps, I'm going to go in the brain cavity. A pair of 8 inch forceps, I'm going to break up the brain as much as I can. I'm going to use hot water to wash the, any of that out I can get out. Get out this first time the more the water will get inside the cavity and it'll help loosen that meat up from the inside and the outside as I said I'm a, I'm a believer in getting as much off as you can as fast as you can the less boiling time you have on these skulls the less chance you have of wrecking them biggest chunks of the gristle you'll have on these skulls are going to be on the back. Trim off all that. You can, can scrape it off this first time. You can tell I had plenty of soap in there. The stuff's gelling up. This meat's gelling really nice. It's removing pretty easy. Stick this back in the water. We're probably going to pull it out every half hour now for the next couple times. Do some more cleaning each time. I'm going to go around the eyes with my knife. Just cut them loose. They aren't going to come out yet because they haven't been boiled. But I'm going to cut them loose in order to give the water chance to loosen them up some more. Actually that one did come out. And as you can see at this time I've got most of the brains out and I've cleaned a lot of the meat off. I still have some meat on here yet on the back. That's got to boil some more. At this time I'm still going to set the skull down, only doing the back half because this is the strongest half of the skull and it's also the hardest part to get clean. Once I drop this front I like to use half hour to 45 minutes at tops. That way my teeth don't loosen up and come out. Same with the bottom jaw. I'm going to set this down in. I'm going to boil these back parts of the jaws without getting to the teeth at this time some more. Another half hour we'll pull it out, pull it out again. It's been about 40 minutes. We checked it at about 30 minutes and decided to give it a little more time. We're going to, at this point, scrape off what we can again. Just leave my glasses up here.
We've got enough off the back of the jawbone. This time we'll put the whole jawbone in for probably, oh, I'm going to say a half hour, 40 minutes. And at that point, the bottom jaw should clean up completely. If you have a tendency of forgetting things when they're in, I would find a timer because it's very important, especially when you drop these front jaws in, not to forget it and leave it in too long or you'll have pieces instead of a finished mount. That's the one thing you don't want, is have to glue it together. That's why I was so careful about the amount of time it's in and how much we get off each time because we don't want to have to glue this, any parts of the skull back together. I've seen people forget these and have them completely ruined to where they're putting them all back together. off the back here so that it gives the water a chance to get down in between the bone and the gristle and clean up. Bear skulls are very oily and, and if you don't get all this off there that it'll help it oil back and it won't look good when it's finished. Every once in a while one of these skulls I'll bleach them and dry them and I like to leave them lay around for a couple, two, three months because they will start to grease back and I'll end up putting them back in the water with the washing soda in it and reboiling them for a half hour again and rebleaching them. Get some more of that excess oil out. I don't know if you ever get it all out of a bear skull. As you can see, I'm spending a lot of time picking all these little spots out. I don't think I'm going to drop this whole thing down in yet. I think I'm going to give the back of this a little bit more time. Probably another 20 minutes, 25 minutes on the back. That is where most of the oil is going to be, is in this area right through here. using hot water right now that helps keeping it from sticking to the bone and keeps it gelled and helps scrape it off easier. Brain cavity looks completely clean at this time. So we've only got a few more spots back here clean but I'm going to give this another 20 minutes and then at that time I'll drop it completely in and then next time we bring it back we'll finish the complete thing. Hopefully. Okay, we've had this in the pot for probably 45 minutes. We'll proceed to scrape off, see if the rest will come off. Or if we're going to have to soak it some more. Looks like it's going to come off pretty good this morning. Again, I'm using hot water. Don't keep it from sticking to the stall.
I try and leave the nasal cavities intact as much as I can in there. If it's boiled right, and if it wasn't lung shot, usually that meat pulled right out of there. heavy blood cover in here. I'm going to throw it back in that fresh pot of water for another 15 minutes or so on a real light boil to see if I can't get some more of that blood color out before I take it to the bleach. I don't like to have to do that but this just isn't going to bleach out clean if I leave it like that, so I got to get some more of that out of there. We'll give it another 15 minutes in the boiling pot. We just removed the stall from the boiling water. It cleaned up quite a bit in the last 15 minutes. At this point, we're going to bleach it. We use a 40 volume peroxide cream cream developer. I use a skull this size probably equivalent to about two and a half ounces. Use a basic white bleach. Gonna take two cups of that to two and a half ounces of the cream developer. I like to boil I like to bleach these skulls when they're still hot from boiling. I think the bleach works better when it's warm. We mix that up into a nice paste. Make sure you got your rubber gloves on. And we just spread that completely over the skull. skull. Any parts of the skull that are going to be seen we need to cover with bleach. This is what will give it its nice white even color. Do the bottom jaw the same way. Now we'll let that set probably for 24 hours before rinsing it off. 